if the range of the above set of values is 35, what is a possible value of P? Give yourself a minute, 30 seconds here. You probably don't need that long, but give yourself a minute, 30, and you are set. So here we go. The range of this set of data here is 35. So what's a possible value of P? Well, let's see what the current range is. Uh, let's see, the lowest value that I see is 11, the highest is 43. So 43 minus 11, that would be uh, 32. Okay, so the current range without P is 32. So what that instantly tells me is that P has to be outside of 43 and 11 because that's, that's what's gonna increase the range. It's either above 43 or below 11. And by how many numbers? Well, if we want the range to go from 32 to 35, that's a difference of three numbers. And so what that tells me is that P over here needs to be either three numbers below 11 or three numbers above 43. Here's what I mean. If P was 46, then the range would be 46 minus 11, which is 35. Ah, there's one. And if it was eight, so let's say we didn't change the 43, let's say we changed the, uh, the 11. So 43 minus eight, that is still 35. So look at that. Those are the two possible values of P, 46 or eight. Either one works. Uh, and it's up to you to pick the uh, whichever one you want. They're both right, so don't get you know crazy confused. That said, what is a possible value of p? So 40, uh, 46 or eight would both work.